Hey everyone, it's Lady Cree. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel today. I do pray and hope that you and your families are all doing well. Well, I wanted to come on and share with you a quick project share in hopes to inspire you to pull out what you have, create and have a little fun while you're sitting at the table. I am in a swap with my sissy Kim. You all know her as Kim Possible here on the YT. Hey, Kimmy Poo. <laughs> I reached out to Kim and asked her if she would like to swap a set of 3x3 three three cards with me. Um, Kim and I both have a love for 3x3 three three cards. OMG, yes we do. <laughs> and so um, basically that was all we had to create. We didn't have any rules of the style of 3x3 three three cards. Just create a set of 3x3 three three cards. That was it. <laughs> You all, I love to participate in swaps. It's truly, truly hard for me to, um, especially group swaps, because I just don't have the time. Um, but every now and again, I love to pop on and just, you know, have a one-on-one -on -one swap um, in the midst of everything I have going on. Um, and that just keeps the flow of um, interaction with my YouTube friends and camaraderie and fellowship because you all heard me say that before i love camaraderie i love fellowship and so yeah so this is one of those cases where i get to do a one-on-one -on -one swap with one of my favorite girls and um, i'm excited about it okay so you all i did put up everything that i used um, but i will show you the paper collection because you all um, i don't know about anybody else but when i'm working on projects my table becomes a mess and I have to clean up. Okay, so this is the paper collection that I chose to use. It's called A Perfect Autumn by Lori Whitlock. I love this paper. Sorry for the glare. Okay, so that's the paper that I use for my project. Um, and I chose that paper because if memory serves me correctly, I believe fall is one of Kim's favorite holidays or seasons. <laughs> Yes, I think, but I think fall is one of her favorite seasons, so that's why I went with a fall theme. Okay, so um, let me share with you my three by three cards, and um, yeah, so hopefully you'll be inspired. Well, here you go. I created a loaded envelope, and the envelope, I just used my envelope punch board, and there you go. Um, as you see here, I used some chocolate brown crepe paper and kind of pleated it along the front of here. This is some yellow ribbon with white polka dots that I pulled from my stash. This little fox is from um, the collection. Hey, foxy lady. <laughs> I tied a bow here and this is a flower sticker from the collection. And that's how everything look. And then this is the back fall memories yeah so i just took it and put it around there i love 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 how this turned out so basically you all i just wanted a a simple and a cute and unique way of housing my three by three cars and this is how i did it you see here i just took a couple of chenille stems and just twisted them to kind of you know have them out the bag um i wish i had some fall themed straws i would have probably put those in there but I didn't this is a hay um, clothespin that my sissy herself gave to me and so let me share with you my three by three cards okay so here's the first one there's a topper there Something on there. there's a topper and I put the word thankful it's a sticker from the collection and this leaf is actually a spellbinders leaf that I actually distressed. And I use um, Tim Holtz Distress Ink, Spice Marmalade, uh, Ripe Persimmon, and Fire Brick. And that's how I got that like that. This is a Doris embossing folder. And this is a um, stamp by Fiskars or um, I forgot the name of that company. So let me open it up so you can see it. Isn't that cute? And the inside are, is all the same on each card. I use one of the stickers and I left it blank so she can write what she would like. 
Okay, so let me put that back in here. <laughs> you all know that I'm a stickler about things going back <laughs> how they were. So that's the first one. Here's the second one. I just use a sticker out of the collection. It's like a little wreath. And I put a bow there and I stamped fall. And that's a Sizzix stamp. Here's some stickers from the collection. It says grateful for you. And I just kind of staggered the leaves there. And then here's the other one. It says thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> I just used some of those Ranger inks. And I seen a card on Pinterest that had thank you, thank you, thank you going down like that. And I thought it was so nice. So I was inspired by that. Here I staggered the leaves again and I put Fallen from You. And those are stickers again from the collection. And so there are my three by three cards. And I just wanted um, like a thank you and a so to speak. And so she can use those. And I created this little cellophane bag shaker using one of the cut aparts. It says, hey there, Foxy. <laughs> so that's why you see that. Hey, and this was inspired by Tara. You all know her as Nurse Tara 04 here on the YT. Hey, sis. And um, she shared how you could just take sequins and put it in a bag and close it. This right here is some pumpkin washi that I picked up a couple of years ago from Target dollar bin. Isn't that cute? And it just shakes. <laughs> and because my envelopes could not fit in that package with the 3x3 three three card itself, I just packaged up the envelopes here. And I just put like little flowers and then this is just a flower, a sticker from the collection. And she has some goodies and again here's that Chanel stem and because I did not put toppers on the goodies I just put stickers so yeah okay so let me put this back together <laughs> but yeah that is my loaded um, envelope <laughs> I love it you all it's so 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 cute <laughs> okay so let me put all this back together and share with you um, something else. Okay. All righty. Well, there we go. <laughs> yes, I love it, you all. I think it's so pretty. I think it was a unique way to house my three by three cards. Okay, so I created her some bows. And I think I've shared with you these for folk before. And all I did was use like a, um, it's kind of like a muslin feel doily. And I just used a, a leaf cappuccino put some sequins at the bottom so cute so that's that also i'll put her a little goodie in this sack here there's one another one of my bows and i just put an acorn in the center this is a bag from joann's and i just put her a little goodie in there and also i packaged up her a goodie in here and what i did was just create an envelope from my envelope punch board this is a cut apart from the collection it says fall blessings i did use a gold pen and i um, went around that cut apart and um yes i just tied a little bow here and i didn't even knot it it's just kind of tied and so all she have to do is untie it and this piece right here will fall down and pull it up and this is a sticker from the collection as well, as well. thankful and blessed. And yes, she is. <laughs> and so, um, yeah, so there you go. I just love that. A nice way to package up a, a goodie. All right, you all. Well, I pray and hope that my sissy love uh, what I've created for her. 
and i like how she you know everything is packaged because i love it and again i just went with what um you know i i felt that was one of her favorite seasons which is fall and so yes i love it <laughs> well if i've inspired at least one of you here on the yt then making this video um, was worth it all right well i pray that you were inspired be encouraged be blessed love you much bye